The next option in our list is Display Companion Orders in Chat Window. Now this can be helpful, especially if you're trying to review uh, what might have happened in a fight. But essentially, it's going to list for you everything that uh, your companion has done. Um, it's really a matter of personal preference. If it's too much clutter for you, then uh, I would suggest turning it off. But if you like to have that on, um, then it will provide you with a little bit more feedback as to what exactly your pet is doing in the middle of a fight. And then the next option on our list is display combat state break notices in chat window. Essentially this is going to tattle on whoever breaks a mess. Uh, it can be helpful especially if you do have uh, repeated issues of mezzes being broken and you need to figure out why that's happening so that you can prevent it from continuing. So for example if I initiate my pet to attack here you'll see in the combat log arrowed has freed the Anduin Lizard from a daze. So it will tell you what exactly is happening. Um, and it can be really helpful for your combat log to uh, identify any issues during a fight when you're trying to pin down a strategy for a fight. The last option in the combat options menu that we're going to discuss is the show assist window. And the show assist window is going to put up a window that shows all of the targets of your uh, fellows um, as set aside by the group leader. So you can see that uh, up here at the top of the window, my assist window contains Kaneo and Leowin. Um, you can target specifically from that uh, your fellows or your fellows targets. Uh, and that enables you to uh, quickly and easily move across targets without having to pick them out on the landscape itself. Uh, so that makes it a lot easier, especially in uh, a really busy fight. You don't have to try to hunt and peck through all of the possible targets, or you don't have to try to tab through everything to figure out uh, you know, who, what needs to be attacked or who you need to heal. Um, so a lot of times there'll be a tank up there or a DPS assist. Um, or uh, uh, crowd control. And the last section we're going to talk about here is the social options. Uh, and there's really only one setting in here that you might want to tinker with, and that's the show dispellable effects only. And we recommend that you turn this on um, because what it will do is it will uh, remove all of the effects that are autom always on uh, your fellows. And in the fellowship window, you are only going to see effects that can be dispelled, such as poisons or wounds or fears. Uh, that way, you don't have to deal with the trouble of trying to find those uh, effects from within the window, um, where it will show every effect, um, and that can really cause problems. So if you turn on shell dispellable effects only, you can see that there's only this one poison instead of all of the effects that are on the fellow, uh, and that can enable you to cure uh, more efficiently. Now aside from the regular set of options found in your options menu, there are some settings that you can change uh, within the UI itself to make things a little easier for you. Um, so for example, some healers might uh, find that they benefit from moving their UI bars around so that they can more quickly access heals. So for example, say in this quick bar I have uh, all of my heals, you can easily target um, target who you want to heal and then click your heal. Uh, so there are some settings that you can do here and in order to unlock your UI here, what you're going to do is you're going to hold control and then you're going to hit the backslash on your keyboard. And you do have a lot of options for actually moving the bars around uh, so it can be uh, difficult to uh, locate all of the header bars but it can be really helpful to, to lay everything out in a way that flows for you and for everyone that's going to be different so I'm not going to recommend a specific setup for anyone um, other than recommend that you actually uh, find something that works for you. So for example, I have my vitals here instead of up in the corner, left corner, which is the default. Um, and another thing you're going to want to do is 
uh, put some items on your quick bar. So for those of you who do not raid much, you find that you have to um, have to place items on the quick bar, such as wound cures or uh, morale pots. I have them over here on the left hand side for example uh, you need to unlock your quick bar your quick slots and then you can uh, move items around and place them on there some players may just leave a single bag open um, that works too uh, however as long as you have quick access to these uh, potions um, in the middle of combat so you don't have to uh, look for them in the middle of uh, all of your other inventory items that can be really helpful so that you don't have to uh, so that you don't lose a fight because you are hunting for an item that should have been easily available to you. Also uh, you might want to include weapons on your quick bar. Uh, that way you can quickly and easily change out of weapons. Uh, so for example on my captain I've got weapons that affects certain buffs that I don't want to have to look through my inventory to find them. Um, I might want to just click on the quick bar, hit my buff, click on the next item and hit the buff that I want to use at that point. And that just makes it flow a little bit quicker, a little bit easier than having to find those items in your inventory. And again, for you AUC members out there, please remember that this information can be found in text format in the AUC forums in the Guides and Links section, where you may also include any comments or suggestions of your own. All others, please feel free to leave uh, any hints or tips of your own in the video comments. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. And remember, Freeps rule and creeps drool. Goodbye.